Hello and welcome to The Man in the Attic. This is a very, very short game. It's about 10 minutes. Or this is more of a experience, you could call it, rather than a game, because it's only 10 minutes long. However, uh, that's all I know. Let's just get into it. When I was a kid, I often had the same nightmare. It was about this man just standing in my room looking at me. I was convinced that he came from the attic. I shared a bedroom with my brother at the time. And when I had this dream, I often spoke out loud during my sleep. According to my brother, I said things like, Somebody is here. There is a man in There is a man here. He is here. It freaked my brother out in the middle of the night a couple of times. I am now an adult. And that horrible nightmare is just a distant memory now. Or is it? <laughs> Okay. That is really dark. Can I not? Why do you walk so slow? Hello? Need to use- I don't need to use the bathroom right now. Alright. Sorry, you went sleep with your lights on everywhere? Not very good lights. Hey brother, I just wanted to let you know that we arrived home safely. Thank you for the invitation. We had a great time. And it was nice to catch up. I also... I also feel like I have to apologize for Lily's behavior. But you know how the kids are. In their imagination. She was probably very tired as well. See you later. Take care. Is it getting light? But I should clean up first. It's almost one in the morning. Boiler room. I don't need to go in there. Alright. Wow, your kitchen is extra barren. Fuck are you- What are you clean- Oh. Clean up the dining table. I saw that. Cool. Fuck, there's so much reading. <laughs> the night went on. It seemed like everyone was having- Everyone had a good time. Dinner was ready. So I was about to go upstairs to get Lily to eat with us. That's when all of a sudden Lily ran downstairs screaming. She looked absolutely terrified. It took her a couple minutes before she could speak, but then she finally said she finally said this. There was a man upstairs staring at me from the doorway. Confused, perhaps a bit frightened, we all went upstairs searching searched everywhere. <laughs> Checked the attic as well, only to find nothing. Eventually my brother dismissed Lily's story, claimed she was probably just getting tired. And soon after they left for the night, I am once again completely alone in the house and Lily's story sounds way too familiar. Time to get some sleep. Hell yeah. Why do you live in such a big house? I would be terrified to live in a house this big on my own. I don't know what it is, but I would not be able to do it. Three fucking stories? Are you shitting me? According to Lily's story, this is where the man was standing, looking straight at her from the doorway, before returning to the attic, just like in my dreams. Okay. Okay, you just go, go to bed. These noises, they're coming from the attic. No. I hate this! Search the attic, you motherfucker! I just wanted to go sleep. Why? Just leave the house! Leave the house! Call the police. Oh, I don't remember leaving this door open. Just close it and leave. Fuck. Oh, no. I'm really on edge today. What the fuck? This is stupid, there's nothing up here. Why the fuck would you say that? Go back to bed. Oh, oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. Oh no, don't you fucking- It's the sounds. The sounds terrify me. Nope, nope. Go to bed. 
Sometimes a strange noise at night keeps you awake. Then you anxiously search for the cause, but you won't find anything, and you question it once more. Oh, we're back. Is the man in the attic real? Oh? I don't like this. This is... These really short ones scare me the most because um, I don't know what to expect from them. I don't know if they'll be good, if they'll be bad. I... I shit's scary, man. It's the sounds. The sounds coming from a certain direction scare the ever-living shit out of me. And I'm like... And I'm basically putting myself in that situation. Oh, fuck you. I'm basically putting myself in that situation. Fear is subjective, but it is not common to be afraid of the man in the attic or the man in the basement. Perhaps the man under your bed. Excuse me? The fuck? You wanna, you wanna run that by me again? How dare you even put that thought in my head? <laughs> Thank you for playing my specific fear. The man in the attic. Very short, to the point. Absolutely love it. I don't know why it was so scary. Uh, sounds scare me more than visual stuff. I could see a ghost in front of me, but if it doesn't make any sounds, it's not gonna scare me as much, right? But uh, there was nothing but sound here, and it scared the shit out of me, man. It was good. It was really good. I hope that the creator makes more stuff similar to this. But yeah, I know this is a short video, not typically what I do. Most of my videos are like 20 minutes long. But if you enjoyed this video, fantastic. Might as well leave a like, might as well sub. You'd be pretty damn cool for doing so. If uh, if you didn't, shit, I mean, too bad. But hey, you can check out my other stuff. I still got Dead Space going on. I need to finish that up. So uh, Dead Space tomorrow. The reason this video has to be short is because I have uh, some photography I need to go do for my coursework. So I don't actually have too much time today. Uh, Sunday, I did actually record something. I still have the footage, but I'm not... I don't know if I'm keen on uh, on making it into a video. I still have it, so, I, you know, you might expect it. It was with a friend of mine. He was streaming. I was recording. We played SCP. But, uh, yeah. That's about it. See ya.